As the lone stranger and spur ventured into the cursed expanse known as the Spectral Sands, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting deep shadows across the land. This desolate place was infamous for its paranormal encounters and cosmic oddities, where the boundary between the living and the dead blurred into obscurity. Amidst the howling wind that whispered secrets of the damned, the rhythmic echo of their horses' hooves amplified the sense of an impending encounter with the supernatural. Easy now, Spur, the lone stranger murmured, his voice gravelly as he patted the horse's mane. We're in the devil's playground and we ain't welcome. Spur snorted, a sound akin to a knowing chuckle, their unique bond allowing for communication. Devil's playground? You picked that phrase up in a saloon, didn't you? The horse seemed to jest, displaying a sense of understanding and camaraderie. The lone stranger acknowledged the absurdity of his words. You're right, partner. I may not believe in devils, but in a realm filled with peculiarities and oddities, it doesn't hurt to keep an open mind. Under the silvery glow of the moon, they witnessed ghostly trails left by unseen horses. And then... There they were, their ethereal forms charged through the night with the ferocity of a sandstorm, eyes glowing like embers on the brink of extinction. These are the spectral Mustangs, the lone stranger murmured, his hand resting on the modified six-shooter laser pistol holstered at his side. Seems they aren't too fond of sharing their domain with us. The spectral herd circled around them, their shimmering forms oscillating like waves of moonlight. Spur whinnied in a mixture of fear and defiance, recognizing the other worldly presence. He'd faced many dangers alongside his partner, but the spectral Mustangs presented a unique and complicated challenge where they might not be able to win, but only endure. The lead Mustang, a stallion with a mane of silver flames, reared up and let out an unearthly neigh. It wasn't a call for dominance. It was a declaration of war. Spur, unwavering in his loyalty to the lone stranger, responded with a defiant snort. Together, they stood their ground with supernatural synchrony. The lone stranger's cosmic instincts surged, offering fleeting glimpses of probability, guiding his shots through the ephemeral foe. The supernatural battle commenced in a flash. The lone stranger's laser beams cut through the spectral herd, causing them to wail in agony as they dissipated into nothingness, only to reform moments later. Tracking their wavelengths proved to be challenging, as they fluctuated wildly and sometimes appeared in reverse. Spur, hold on, old friend, the lone stranger grunted through gritted teeth. Despite the relentless nature of the spectral Mustangs, they had a purpose in this encounter that they had yet to uncover. In a surprising maneuver, the lead stallion lunged, its ghostly hooves passing through the lone stranger's leg. Agony seared through his limb, and the ethereal stallion collided with Spur. As the lone stranger struggled under the weight of the spectral Mustang, he reached out his hand, pushing against the ethereal creature. In that moment, his paranatural clairvoyance was filled with glitches and cosmic harmonies, revealing an image of a horse graveyard. It was a glimpse into the Mustang's torment. The stranger and Spur fought for their lives, as the boundaries between the living and the dead continued to blur with each encounter. Although the lone stranger's cosmic instincts allowed him to anticipate some of the ethereal horse's movements, the odds remained stacked against them. Spur's evasion skills often saved them from the deadliest attacks. Time seemed to lose its meaning as the battle raged on. Finally, as the first rays of dawn began to break, the spectral herd retreated into the mists of the ethereal realm. Spur stood strong, his flanks heaving, and the bond between him and the lone stranger deepened. They had survived the otherworldly battle, but the spectral Mustangs would forever haunt the Badlands, trapped in a glitch in reality, replaying a loop of capture and slaughter, driven by an unrelenting desire to never lose that fight again. As the sun's golden light pierced the horizon, the lone stranger and Spur rode on, deeper into the barren spectral sands. The aftermath of the otherworldly battle lingered in the air, 
a haunting reminder of the curse that bound the spectral Mustangs to this desolate place. Their journey led them to a hidden discovery, a horse graveyard tucked behind a cliff hollow, concealed from the prying eyes of the living. The lone stranger, with a sense of solemnity, approached the site. His laser pistol, a tool of both destruction and in this moment commemoration, burned the words, keep fighting, ride free, onto the side of the rocks, crafting an epitaph for the tormented souls of the spectral Mustangs. Taking a moment of reflection, the lone stranger tipped his weathered cowboy hat, paying homage to the fallen creatures that had been trapped in a loop of capture and slaughter. Spur, curious, turned his gaze toward the lone stranger. Will that end the curse, partner? He asked, his eyes reflecting a mix of confusion and contemplation. The lone stranger met Spur's gaze. What? Oh, I have no idea. He paused and looked around the supernaturally still and silent spectral sands. But if this is the devil's playground, those stallions and mares will keep the damned fiend stuck here. There was a sense of duty in his decision, a recognition that some battles, even in the supernatural realms, were worth fighting. With a final nod to the horse graveyard behind them, they continued their journey into the vastness of the spectral sands, their story forever bound to the mysteries and trials of the paranormal frontier.